Spider mites are tiny insects that feed on the underside of plant leaves. They like lots of different things, but tomatoes seem to be one of their favorites in the summer in Kansas. And they actually just suck the juices out of the plant and uh, can actually cause the leaves to die. Spider mites leave some fairly characteristic symptoms on your plants. So if you're going out looking at your tomato plants or even some other plants and you see a very characteristic stippling on the leaves, it almost looks like someone took a paintbrush and just kind of flung it at the, at the plants. It's got tiny little specks all over the leaves, usually uh, pale yellow or white colored specks. One way to tell if you definitely have spider mites, when you see a leaf that's got this characteristic stippling pattern, take a white or light colored piece of paper, put it under the leaf, and gently tap the leaf over the paper. After a few taps, you can take the paper away, and you'll see some tiny black or red specks on the paper. In a few seconds, those specks will start to crawl around, and that's how you know you have spider mites. Those tiny specks are actually the spider mites that have been eating your tomato plants. Spider mites are one of the most difficult insect pests to control. The reason being, there really are no good insecticides that kill spider mites. Our recommendations for spider mites usually are either a hard stream of water. If you can get a hard stream of water and just blast the plant, it'll knock the spider mites off. Other options would be insecticidal soaps, horticultural oils, or neem oil. For more information, visit your local extension office or of visit our website. Spider mites. Unfortunately, for them to work, they have to actually come into contact with the spider mite or the spider mite egg. So in order to do that, it's very important that we make sure that we get our spray on the undersides of the leaves where most of the spider mites are actually living and eating. For more information, visit your local extension office or visit our website.